10 Tampa Bay's Jenna Bourne has been all over St. Pete in the last 48 hours. Once again, Shore Acres saw some of the worst flooding. You can see right here one of the kayaks that was used to get people to their flooded homes abandoned here at the Shore Acres Rec Center. When people got home, a lot of them were not happy with what they found. Each squeak is a reminder of all the rehab that will have to be done. So the water was like up to about here. This all filled up with water as well, along with the water coming in the front door in the garage. Cody Schmidt's short-term rental home in Shore Acres is supposed to be a Florida getaway. Hurricane Idalia had other plans. Someone's supposed to be checking in tomorrow, but that's not happening. Schmidt and his neighbors kayaked and paddleboarded through their flooded neighborhood. This little girl carried her pet rabbit on a leash while she waded through the flood. Police limited the vehicles they allowed to cross the 40th Avenue Bridge, and it's easy to see why. Anyone who tried to drive through risked generating wakes that could send more water into homes. Guest bedroom, as you can see, there's still some standing water in here. Still, Schmidt says he feels lucky. Lucky the squeaks aren't sloshes. It could have been a lot worse. I know it's dark out here, but I want you to see this road that we were showing you earlier where people were kayaking to get to their homes. It's totally dry now. The floodwaters have receded, so people are able to drive to their homes tonight. Reporting in Shore Acres, Jenna Bourne, 10 Tampa Bay. It is amazing how quickly.